Hello Fanatics, I'm Dylan Phillips and let's talk about Series 11 of BBC's Doctor Who. First we'll tell you our recap of the show, followed up by our review, and then we'll finish off with telling you if it's worth the watch. Created by Sidney Newman, C.E. Weber, and Donald Wilson, Doctor Who follows the story of a time and space traveling alien adventurer known as the Doctor, who saves the universe from hostile aliens with the help of their human companions. So, recap time. The main story of Series 11 revolves around the regeneration of the Doctor to their newest incarnation. The 13th Doctor searches the universe for her TARDIS while trying to remember who she is when she stumbles upon a group of interconnected humans, Graham, a sweet older man, and his wife Grace, her grandson Ryan, and his old classmate Yaz. After an event that changes their lives forever, these companions choose to follow the Doctor on her adventures to protect space and time while struggling with their own personal problems. I was looking forward to one of the biggest changes in Doctor Who history when they announced that the next Doctor would be a female. On top of that, she was played by Jodie Whittaker, who I absolutely loved in Broadchurch. So after the promotional material and the trailers, I got even more excited, but things started to look a little bleak. The showrunner and Whittaker both came out to say that this series of Doctor Who was going to focus less on the Doctor and more on the ensemble as a whole. The staple of this series has always been the whimsical tone of following the Doctor on their adventures, and the series arcs have always been focused on what's going on with the Doctor. Hence why every two to three series, we always see the Doctor regenerate because we're focusing on their storyline. So could this survive without following the Doctor? Unfortunately, this is one of the few missteps of the season as it seems to be all over the place in its story, tone, and characters. The season's storylines are absolutely atrocious and dull as the unimaginative episodic arcs feel like educational after-school specials that seem to be more focused on being serious political commentary than enjoyable sci-fi adventures. The choice to bring in a bunch of new writers instead of keeping the seasoned vets of Doctor Who definitely shows here, as all of the episodes become standalone episodic arcs and they're very forgettable and completely against the tone that we expect from Doctor Who. The issues with the stories in turn affect the characters in both positive and negative ways. In particular, the two biggest surprises to me were Bradley Walsh and Tonson Cole, who provide us with some of the best companions of New Who. However, the third companion, Yaz, feels like a checklist quota character whose story goes absolutely nowhere throughout the season. And this brings us to the most disappointing of the characters this season, the Doctor. The Doctor has no season story arc and changes her behavior from episode to episode so that it fits whatever narrative is being told, completely destroying the overall tone of this series. The issues with her character are further seen in the fact that she has no real unique personality, and in fact it feels like the writers are just combining previous Doctors, most notably David Tennant and Matt Smith, and putting them together into her character to make it feel like she's whimsical, but she has no real unique traits about her. That isn't to say that there's anything wrong with Jodie Whittaker's performance, because in the better episodes she excels at creating her own unique Doctor. The problem is that the writing in all these standalone episodes make her a caricature of what the Doctor is, and that just doesn't work. So, with the thoughts heard, here's our final word. This season of Doctor Who is a step back for this beloved sci-fi series. The story focuses on historical narratives and topical themes, trying to make the show educational, but the change to a more episodic format gives the cast nothing to work with in very bland, boring, and drawn out stories that never truly grasp the essence of this franchise. From its shallow characters to its lack of cohesive storytelling, this season tries to make a message, but is more wibbly wobbly than time itself, making us think is this Doctor Who or Doctor Huh? So I'm going to say it's not worth the watch. And that's our recap and review of Series 11 of Doctor Who. What did you think of this series and was it worth the watch? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Dylan Phillips and thanks for watching. If you liked this video and you want to see more, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Check out our latest Film Fanatic review where we discuss the film Roma. Don't forget to follow us on our social media. And until next time, Fanatics, keep it real.